Hello there, fellow armchair generals, uh, generals and uh, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Grand Tactician Civil War. It is May 20th, uh, 1862, we've uh, won the battle down here. Um, so, we are gonna try and push a bit further, though our supplies are really, really low and we have a high officer casualties. It was the battle in the woods, if you guys remember from the last episode. Um, but yeah, we're gonna march on Gordonsville and uh, stop there. We're gonna see if we can get the supplies up, otherwise uh, we're gonna pull back to Washington. I just want to disrupt the enemy production in this area. Um, let's actually see. Transport capacity by 8.3. Yeah, let's um, stay in this area for a bit, um, just so we burn everything down. <laughs> And, uh, okay, this one's getting the readiness up. In the far east, uh, oh, sorry, far west, I think that this town might be under attack by the army. So I'm not sure if we should move here or not. Uh, we're gonna do that, inspect what's going on here. Army orders are guard. Okay. Now here, seems like we're winning the battle, at least... Um, this seems to be in our favor. Battle of Fort Burns. So we're gonna keep on uh, pounding the enemy. Um, now the enemy army, Army of the Tennessee, did not move. We are still recruiting. Uh, we're still waiting for a few units to uh, come in. 19 days, 21, 22, 14 and 15. So we're not gonna move with this army down here. Uh, we're gonna wait for them to build a supply depot and then decide if we're gonna take it over, uh, which might not be a bad idea for um, attack on Nashville later on. Or if we're gonna burn it down because we have a depot, supply depot up uh, in the north. Uh, policies, nothing new. Um, 34.3 days for the bread basket. Um, strategy wise yeah the enemy has even less men on the field because we've beaten them up uh, badly uh, we won uh, 26 battles uh, casualties 45 uh, 24 against 70,000 weapons industry still leading uh, the south is still leading uh, but yeah we're gonna co continue blockading the enemy ports in this area raiding and um, I'm not sure where the next battle is gonna happen. Maybe here. Uh, I'm not sure if these units are retreating actually. Hmm. If only we wouldn't be so low on supplies. We would go and smash something. But anyway, I'm gonna tune in as soon as uh, something interesting happens. The enemy has retreated 30, yeah. We should maybe stop raiding. Uh, this is 8,000 men, 650, 21,000. We should stop raiding, we're gonna guard. And we're gonna go and attack this army. Hopefully we're gonna have enough readiness and supplies to be able to um, get into a fight here drive them off, inflict even more casualties, we're skirmishing already. Yeah, we need the readiness to go up. Uh, let's check, so it is May 23rd, only three days have passed. Since I've last tuned in. Oh boy, it's going uh, towards the enemy's favor now. Let's hope we do good. Come on there, McClellan, don't uh, disappoint us. If only I could fight the battle on my own. Ah, this is where the enemy is. So I think 12,000 men, 13,000 men. Okay, we're gonna send the army back. We're gonna send the army back and um, restock and resupply in Springfield. We're not gonna abandon that um, uh, that supply depot. Okay, see you soon, I guess. I hope. 
Well, just a quick note. We managed to capture um, a supply depot, so we're gonna abandon it. I'm gonna burn it down. Uh, we are chasing the army of the Shenandoah with only 2,000 men. Uh, we still have 31,000, so our supplies are low. So we're gonna try and get into a fight with this army, then we're gonna pull back. Uh, we cannot uh, run on like 20% of supplies because uh, our army morale is gonna collapse if we run out of ammunition, right? Now, this one, so let's check. Mm, we've lost 500 men already. They seem to not be losing that much, but anyway. No other way to win but to attack. Uh, so these two armies are still holding down here. So we're gonna settle in with the army um, in the Department of the West and uh, resupply, restock, and maybe even go down and attack here later on. We'll see. It's still May 27th, so we do have time before the summer actually ends. Um, yeah, that's it. So see you soon. Well, like I said, see you soon, May 28th. It's McDowell versus Johnston. He's legendary, passive and inspiring. We are legendary, cautious and distinguished. Uh, we have 30,000, well 31,000 men, only 35 cannons. We do have a unit that is on low morale. Uh, that's the one that actually retreated, I think. We're gonna see, uh, soon see. Um, I mean, see soon. And uh, let's see, they have 24, 23, well, 21,000 altogether with 30 guns. We should be able to uh, beat them off the field, though it's gonna be woodlands. But anyway, let's enter this battle. Battle of James and Canava Canal, Virginia, May 28, 1862. Oh boy, the point is up here. Oof, this is gonna be a problem. Um, we're gonna position the army on the road. Cannons on the road. This one might retreat. Which unit is the one? Yeah, it was the northern flank in the last battle that got pretty darn uh, mauled pretty badly so we're gonna leave it at the back we're gonna lead with cavalry eight thousand men and this division with eight thousand six hundred men Okay, let's uh, fire this up. Uh, the plan is, of course, to go to Chancellorsville, uh, Chancellorsville and then march up north. We'll see where the enemy is. And uh, yeah, I'll tune in as soon as we um, encounter the enemy. Now the enemy... Oh yeah, they're definitely hmm, holding that line. We're gonna send one division around. Uh, you are reborn muskets. Oh boy, we should give them better wef uh, weapons. Now this is 8,000 men. We're gonna move around the enemy line. So let's move up here. Four brigades. We're gonna put McDowell somewhere on the road here. We're gonna bring the cannons up the road. Mm. We need to strike them from the flank. That's the first thing. Um, okay, is the artillery again? Yeah, okay. This division... Mm. We're gonna put it in the middle, but it's the weak one. So it's gonna be the last one. They're just gonna be standing there more or less um, to keep the enemy on toes. But the bigger division, we're gonna move around and attack from their backs or at least their sides. 
Okay, I'm gonna reposition the, the troops. Everybody's moving up here to Bullocks. Bullocks. Oh boy, it's not Bullocks. Yeah, we're moving to Bullocks. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we're gonna manage to get on the enemy flank. Let's hope this uh, division doesn't get spotted. Uh, but we're gonna move it. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna move it on the flank and attack from the flank. No, 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 stop. We're gonna move it that way. Issue orders. This division is gonna move there. Hooker's division is gonna move up here, and then we're gonna decide if we're gonna move straight up because if they reposition in this line, we're gonna have them all on our flank. Uh, I mean, we'll have their, we'll have them on their flank. Uh, why is McDowell moving up there? You shouldn't be moving that far. Get down here. Where are the guns at? We're gonna engage with the strong division straight away. Um, Springfields, sharpshooters, 1900, 2.2, 2.2k. Okay, they should be able to engage the enemy from the flank. Come on, Sumner. Cannons. We still don't know what we could do with the cannons. We're gonna leave them at the back. This is a strong division, Abercrombie, with um, Mississippi rifles. We might get the Mississippi rifles in the center, just so we could... Okay, let's get them there. Just so we could fire the enemy positions with um, skirmishers from longer distance. Okay, we're gonna speed up the time and immediately initiate the attack if they will not pull back too far. Let's cross here and start attacking. Let's move the cavalry further up to see how the enemy positions look like. Uh, this is the battered one, right? Yeah, it's the battered one. We're gonna move them up the road as well. It's only this point in the map. Um, so we have to drive them off. I'm still thinking the cannons would be best if we manage to move them somewhere up in this area. So let's bring let's bring the guns up. Maybe they're gonna be able to um, fire at the enemy. We'll see. Okay, the troops are rested. Oops, no, 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 the whole division needs to move in. Let's march. Did we set you to long range? No. Oh, darn it. Okay, Dar McDowell, move up. Um, let's set you to long range. And let's set you to long range. And let's set you to long range. Okay, the enemy is reacting. Good. Good. Okay. We're gonna send the Mississippi rifles. Abercrombie, uh, we're gonna send the Mississippi rifles up. Let's 
let's send the cavalry on the flank are we engaging okay nice let's hope we manage to drive the artillery off the field they only have five guns but uh, still if we manage to get them into a sticky situation here keep on pushing advance before they manage to settle in we're gonna bring the guns up to the position where we had them before so we're gonna get them up on this hill nice nice Stuart's cavalry they are weak Jackson's brigade weak as well that means we're moving in on their flank This division is gonna move up two, but we're gonna move up on this flank. Oh boy, they're gonna go through the woods. No, 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 no. Go here. Uh, stop. We're gonna move them up the road and then in the woods and then start pushing their um, their flank. How many guns? Do they still have five guns? No casualties. The heck? What were they shooting at then? Okay, it seems like they're moving the right way now. Uh, they're gonna get a stop order. <laughs> anyway. Okay, good. They're not being... Sh well, they are being shot at. But if he managed to come from the flank... Ooh, geez. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough nut to crack. This division needs to do good. What's here? Jackson's Brigade, 1600, 600. They are battered. That means we have a, a good option to... Uh, Carlin, where is our Abercrombie? Okay, moving them on the center. I'm gonna try and get them into the position to be able to fire at the enemy. Uh, you're gonna go on the flank, getting ready to push later on. Uh, if needed, but Abercrombie with his Mississippi rifles, he's gonna come into the center uh, to the maximum range and start blasting off the enemy. We need to take over the river here, or actually the creek. So we're gonna keep on pushing. Advance. I might even bring the guns in. Where's the commander? Mm. Yeah, the guns cannot position in a way where we could take the shots at the enemy. Ooh, seems like Abercrombie is being shot at. No, oh, that's Hunter Division. What about Abercrombie? Okay, let's move in closer. We can deploy the skirmishers. In case things go south or turn turn sour, ten casualties. We're gonna drive them across the river. Yeah, they are reacting. Okay, good. They're good. Okay, let's move you up and then there. Just march. McDowell here is gonna go into the woods. So he can send orders to both um, sides. We are ready. Uh, the cavalry is ready to attack, kind of. Uh, it's weak, so it must not get into a line of fire. Okay. Um. Towards cavalry, 20 casualties, they're being fired at, I mean fired upon. Let's hope Abercrombie can um, 
turn the tide here with his good old Mississippi rifles. They did expose the flank now. So we're gonna send the cavalry there. We're gonna send this division where it is. Abercomb is moving up closer. And there's another division, uh, Carlin, coming on this side. We're gonna come from their flank and then push with the whole with the whole army push their center and their uh, defensive positions how are we doing here confident confident morale is high very nice no new perks losses are mounting here though okay we're gonna keep on uh, firing and waiting for the for our units to position. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. Come on, Amber Combi. It's a detachment. Uh, we're gonna send you to rally the troops. Okay, we should be able to drive them off here and uh, take over the creek. 80 losses. 180. We need to get this detachment off the field. Are you firing us across the creek? Okay, that cavalry will not be able to sustain the attack. Abercombi taking shots at the enemy already. Nice. Let's reposition you up there. But slowly starts to move in. Okay, where's this division? They're moving into the woods. Very good. We're gonna start pushing in. start pushing in with this division and we're gonna bring I mean that uh, brigade and we're gonna be bring this brigade on the flank to fire at the cavalry Get some in contact very good How are we doing with the Mississippi rifles pretty darn good anti casualties firing at the enemy now this flank will only engage when these uh, units are actually engaged already. Can you please move? them up 250 344 losses okay it's the sheer numbers that we have here that are gonna mess the enemy up 60 losses yeah we're being fired back uh, by the detachment okay we must not get too close with this uh, division Once I want to get into the range. Okay, these guys are now firing down on the cavalry. 
300 losses. Time to push in with this brigade. Oh boy, are they charging? No. We need to route this towards cavalry. They're gonna route soon, I hope. Then we need to turn this one around and start closing in. They brought in the reinforcements. Uh, where's the commander here? Let's get in a bit closer. Here. The cavalry has ran away, so let's get on their flanks. Nice, nice. Okay, they're moving in even more reinforcements. Time to move the flank up. Why are you changing? Why are you swapping out positions now? That's something that I really hate in this game. Um, the Mississippi rifles are not gonna be in front now. Okay, what are you doing? Marching. State militia, they're soon gonna be routed. Do these guys have enough uh, range? Now I would like to move this division in, but they're gonna get fired. Oh, yeah, we can move them in. Okay, time to start attacking with this division as well. So we're pushing their flank. We've actually crumbled their flank. What the heck are you guys doing? Okay. Turn around. This unit needs to get across, and you need to get behind the enemy. Okay, this division now has engaged the sixth division. We need to start the, uh, to keep the pressure up. So this probably uh, will route soon. Taliferos brigade is being lit up from uh, all sides. Brigade, Militia Brigade. How strong is this mid division? 1100. This is dangerous now. Again, our flank could fail. If you manage to route the brigade, we're gonna move, we're gonna push um, the 5th division in. This might be an issue. Mm, let's see. Let's push in the 6th division. Actually, we're just gonna move in this brigade. Advance. Seems like the enemy is trying to push our center. He's in a field. Who are you? Burnside. You're gonna get shot, man. Uh, militia. Okay, fine. They're 
firing at the enemy. Let's push the third brigade in. What I'm worried is uh, McCulloch's brigade. They're still fresh and strong. The enemy is moving the cavalry around us. Okay. Marching, boys, marching. We might get our flank messed up, but we need to get this um, this brigade into fight to fire the enemy cavalry. They're screwed then. We catch them on guard, uh, off guard. Okay, the flank is threatened. Though they are push pulling back. Very good. Let's bring in the Mississippi rifles. And dislodge the enemy from their fortifications. Are we firing? Come on. Ooh! Bar. Only 14 left. Oh, I'm talking about ammunition. Wounded in action. Holy crap. Seymour. Okay, this flank is now secured. As soon as this guy is Taylor Brigade um, routes. Oh! Oh, that was quick. As soon as they route, we're gonna turn the our uh, rifles onto Pettigrew's brigade, but I think we're not gonna be able to do that. Too late. The enemy is already retreating. Let's check the overall map. We did manage to push from the flank this time uh, from uh, with Sumner. Pretty darn good push. Yeah, the Mississippi Rifles again. This division is probably the best one. Just keep on closing. Okay, let's turn our guns on this poor cavalry. Double time it. We need to inflict as many casualties as we can. Come on. They're gonna be retreating up the road. There's only 14 left. Uh, 14 minutes. Okay, we did manage to route uh, the Pettigrew's Brigade, 400 casualties, poor buggers. They're gonna get lit up. Uh, too late, we just ran out of time. Yes, good win. 4.4 thousand losses, uh, twice the amount of our losses. They lost some guns, we lost none. So that was a, uh, a good battle, a major victory, definitely. Um, yeah, the guns didn't get the chance to fire at the enemy, though they might. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't even spot this. That was dangerous. How many? Oh wow, it's a fresh brigade. Maybe they would get lit up by, uh, by our cannons. But uh, we got kind of lucky here that we didn't lose the cannons. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, this will conclude uh, another episode. Uh, I really like this battle. Uh, things did go according to plan, uh, even though our losses, well, actually, it was 2 to 1, um, so we did pretty darn good, I guess. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's gonna conclude today's episode. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, make a comment if you want um, an army or actually a unit or a division uh, let me know you can also choose the colors of the uniforms um, 
And yeah, stay safe and stay awesome and see you in the next one.